Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we have more team action for you guys. We have Gold Division teams. This is a B-side match. We have the teams of Sloppy Joes versus Boomsticks. We are coming at you live from the Chinook Winds Casino Resort. We are right here on the beautiful Oregon coast, Lincoln City, Oregon. It is gorgeous here. It's funner at the beach or something like that. Guys, got to come on down. It's pretty nice here. All right, our sponsors, Hustlin USA Clothing Company, Savage Billiard Apparel, CSI, Q Sports International, Players Club Limited, Catfish Lose in Legends Billiard Room, Players Sports Bar and Grill, YCCS, and McDermott Cues. Thank you for your support. Remember to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell. If you don't ring that bell, you won't get notified when we go live or when we upload new videos. Then you might miss something, and that'd be sad. Don't, don't miss it. And share. We are getting down to the end. We are your hosts. Kevin and Sherry Ross, thanks for tuning in today. So, the players entering the battle arena for Slappy Joes. We have Joe Rush, Mike Ramos, and Anthony Derrick. Look, that is Joe Rush at the table now for Slappy Joes. And their opponents, Boomsticks, Stephen Kerner, Rick Dusa and Mike Siller. And at the table now, Joe from Sloppy Joe's. Have a look at this three. All right, that's going to bring Rick to the table from Boomsticks. All right, you're gonna have to put some speed on this ball so that the cue ball gets out of there if you make it. All right, well, he has opted to just shoot a little bit softer, accepting the longer shot on the four if he makes a three, which he has made the three. And he does have a look at this four. We can have a look at this LittmanLights.com overhead cam. And yeah, it looks like he does have a look at this four. Oh, riding the nine. It's possible he was slightly hooked by that seven ball. All right, going to bring Joe back to the table. Over on the other table, and a little pitcher in pitcher, that is Steven from Boomsticks playing Mike from Sloppy Joe's. Hey, Kira North. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Kira says they played them uh, the Sloppy Joes this morning, and uh, be careful. Those guys can jump and kick out of anything. All right, ball in hand. For Nick. All right, he's on this seven. He's 
He's looking to go in a high ball. He probably has trying. Looks like he's trying to bump the eight. Bump the eight. He has done. All right. He's got a shot in the eight. Nice shot. Just nice and gentle. Roll this eight in. Nope, didn't want to go the nice and gentle, wanted to go around the world. All right, he's left it tough. This is a tough shot to the side, tough shot to the corner, tough bank shot. Uh, just, just missed it. I said Nick, uh, his name was Rick, not Nick, sorry. My bad. Joe, with Sloppy Joe's, drawing first blood. That's gonna bring up, who do we got? We have Mike from Boomsticks, we'll be racking. Anthony from Sloppy Joe's, will be breaking. Real quick, let's go over the rules between games here. Uh, we are playing mostly CSI rules nine ball. This is rack for your opponent instead of rack your own. That's the main deviation. It is alternate break, and since we're doing teams, the teams will kind of alternate breaks back and forth, like every three games until we get down to the end anyway. The nine on the break is win in every pocket out there. Jump cues are allowed. Three foul rule is in effect. All right, so at the table, we have Mike from Boomsticks racking. Anthony from Sloppy Joe's will be breaking. Here we go, Anthony with the break. Nine on the break, that counts. Sloppy Joes. Two to nothing. And looks like we are going to be in a little bit of a holding pattern here while we wait for that other table. So let's, let's have a look at that other table here. No, no, we're not uh, not in a holding pattern. We're just wait. We're just gonna skip over that next match. So we're gonna skip down to Joe from Sloppy Joe's. will be racking. Mike from Boomsticks will be breaking. So we'll go back to our main table here. <coughs> All right, Boomsticks got that game over there. So on the scoreboard, two to one. That was Steven with Boomsticks, got that win.
Uh, over on the other table, we're going to have Joe from Sloppy Joe's. We'll be racking. Mike from Boomsticks. Oh, no, that's what's uh, that's who's playing on the table in front of us. Over on the other table, Mike from Sloppy Joe's. we got a Mike on both teams. That's really confusing me. All right, we have Mike from Sloppy Joe's. We'll be racking. Rick from Boomsticks will be breaking over on that other table. All right, I'm all straightened out now, I think. Brings Joe to the table from Sloppy Joe's. Having a look at this one. Just looking at, uh, looks like just looking at playing a little safety here. Okay, just bank the one up table. Get this cue ball in behind this 6-4. Uh, he's hit it a bit too hard. Is that seven ball going to save him? No, that seven ball did not save him. All right, Mike from Boomsticks. Coming to the table, look at the look at this one. Just gonna nudge this too. No, whoa, got a hold of that ball. He didn't want to have to stretch across the table for it. So, yeah, Joe's been hitting everything a little bit too hard, it looks like. Having a little bit of trouble adjusting to the speed of this table. He'll figure it out. He'll adjust. Oh, nice shot. All right, the six does not pass the nine. Looks like about all he has here is either a billiard on the nine or a real gentle little safety. All right, he was playing the billiard and caught the double kiss. And that's going to leave... A shot for Mike. All right, nice shot, Mike. All right, nice shot there, Mike, tying it up to a piece. And that's going to bring up Anthony from Sloppy Joe's. We'll be racking Stephen from Boomsticks, who will be breaking. Over on the other table, we got Rick from Boomsticks having a look at this eight ball. And it's not sitting real good, just playing safe. And 
if that eight ball gets up, it's a nice shot. Unfortunately, he's left. He's left a shot. Not an easy shot, but he's left a shot. He's left a shot for Mike. All right, here we go. Steven from Boomsticks with the break. Oh, no. Kojak in the subway. So these teams, let's go, to the, let's go over the payouts real quick here. These teams are guaranteed at least 17th place here, at least 210 bucks. They're in the money, trying to move their way up that money ladder. This is a B-side match. Loser of this match gets 17th to 24th and $210. Winner moving on up. All right, Anthony Derrick with, uh, with ball in hand. Right, good shape on the two to the side. Three ball shouldn't be a problem. Four ball, you're going to want to get angle on that three to come across with a four in the same pocket as the three. So you got to make sure you get... Let's make sure he gets a good angle on the street to come across and well, he's overall disposition by just a few inches there. All right, over on the other table, I believe that was Rick from Boomsticks. Got got that? Boomsticks taking the lead. Three to two. So that will bring up Mike and Mike. Mike is racking and Mike is breaking. Here is where you insert the obligatory joke about I got my money on Mike. All right, nice shot. All right, if you're going to go, keep going for a shot on the six on the side. You guys may remember Anthony. He was on the live stream before in the singles. Oh, get off that rail. Come out, cue ball. Yeah, Anthony wastes no time when he's at the table shooting. He plays like he's got a plane to catch. Is he going to get a safety out of this? Yep. Bring Steven to the table from Boomsticks. Looking at a kick shot or maybe a jump, but we'll be looking for the kick here. All right, good hit. Unfortunately, that's going to leave a pretty nice shot for Anthony here. Unfortunately for uh, for Stephen. Fortunately for Anthony. All right, Anthony. Uh oh, cue ball. Ooh, I may have marked that score a little prematurely there. Anthony tying it up for his team, three apiece. All right, that's going to bring up Steven from Boomsticks. will be racking. Joe from Sloppy Joe's will be breaking. Yeah, these are three-person teams for nine ball.
We do this twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. In the spring, we do eight ball. In the fall, we do nine ball. Eight ball is always the bigger turnout. Although we had a pretty nice turnout here for nine ball. All right, here we go. Joe with Sloppy Joe's with the break. All right, good break. He's made three balls on the break, and he's straight in on the one. He's got That's got to be cheating. You're not allowed to have a shot after making three balls on the break. When does that ever happen? He even has that seven. Yeah, you know, the seven balls in a, in a bit of a rough spot there, but he's sitting real nice on this. So he can play the one off the seven on the side, move that seven, and also makes the one ball a little bit easier. That's exactly what he has done. Set himself a bank shot. Problem is coming three rails around. Looks like looks like that uh, eight ball might be getting a little. Actually, no, I don't think the eight ball's in the path. No, oh, the eight ball was in the path. Okay. It really depended on how hard he was going to hit it. I thought he would hit it harder, which would have changed the angle, which would not have put the eight in the path. But all right, Stephen from Boomsticks. All right, does that three pass the five to the side? Yeah, it looks like it does. It looks like the cue ball is going to be going right into that nine ball. Possible nine to the corner. Oh, I was on the overhead cam. I didn't see who won uh, that other game over there. Whoops. Uh, I see. It was it was Mike from Boomsticks got that other game. All righty. So Boomsticks regaining the lead, four to three. So over on that other table, it's going to bring up Rick from Boomsticks. Will be racking Anthony from Sloppy Joe's, who will be breaking. Uh, Kira in the chat room handling all of our customer service questions. I'll we'll have, have to hire you fielding all these questions for us. Thanks, Kira. All right, Joe with Sloppy Joe's. Tying it back up again, 4-4. Four, four. I'm seeing a pattern here. All right, Mike from Sloppy Joe's will be racking. Steven from Boomsticks will be breaking. Why do they call it Scotch Doubles? Is it a reference to Scotland? You know, I have no idea why it's called Scotch Doubles.
Oh no, I think he's got himself hooked behind this eight. Ah, ball in hand. Ah, uh, he was trying for that little window between the 6-7 and just overdid it just a touch. So it's carbon fiber shafts. A lot of action in that shaft. All right, uh, so we're looking at a kick shot down to this bottom rail into the four. You can hit it hard, hoping to make something happen, or you can just, you can also kick nice and gentle at it, just trying to leave everything all tied up. The problem with kicking nice and gentle is it usually leaves a pretty good safety for your opponent. So usually you're going to get the short end of that stick, but sometimes it's all you can do is just bunt and hope for a better hope for a better spot. All right, bad hit. Ball in hand for Steven. I believe this is Steven from Boomsticks at the table. All right, sorry for going silent again. Still got some more little stuff to take care of. People always want to come up to me and talk to me when I'm here by myself because, hey, Kevin's by himself trying to do commentary. Let's go talk to him now. <laughs> All right, uh, this is Stephen from Boomsticks at the table now. All right, Boomsticks taking the lead, 5-4. Over on the other table, looks like Anthony's about to tie back up again. Tie it up, he does, 5-5. Five, five. So on one of these tables, we're going to have Joe from Sloppy Joe's will be racking. Rick from Boomsticks will be breaking. And on the other table, we're going to have Anthony from Sloppy Joe's racking. Mike from Boomsticks will be breaking. All right, looks like Anthony is going to be on our main table here in front. Playing Mike from Boomsticks. All right, Anthony going to use the the triangle instead of the magic rack.
All right, Soph Tran leaving the premises. Speaking of Soph Tran, where is it? Where are you? There it is. We have shirts back in stock. Oh, here we go. Had to get back to them, watch them break real quick. All right, looks like dry break for. Um, no, I thought Anthony was going to be racking on this table. It was Joe that racked. Okay, so that was Rick with the break. Dry break for Rick. It is Joe at the table now. Anthony's over on the other table playing Mike. All right, I'm all up to speed now. Uh-oh, Joe's got himself in a little bit of trouble here. Whoopsie. Huh, that was weird. Did he, like, double hit the cue ball? He must have double hit the cue ball to make it uh, take that path. All right, ball in hand for Rick. Not going to take a swing at this nine. Not that it really, you know, I mean, it might go in that upper left corner. It might go off the eight. You know, eight kind of makes it a big pocket up there, but nope, not even having a look at that. Just going to run them out. <laughs> uh, Blint, that will be uh, on our premium channel, not on the free channel. Oh, just missed it. Is it going to go off to five? A little, little more speed it would have gone. All right, it's going to bring Joe to the table. Nice look at this four. Five balls right there, six out in the open. All right. We can work with this layout. Six to the seven could be a little tricky. Depends how you get on the six. But I would say that's probably going to be the main problem here is six to the seven. Got to get good on the six to get to the seven. Joe's kind of got that that fifty yard line position here. He can he can cut it to the side, but it's hard to hold up the cue ball. And oh, he's hit that nice, nice touch there, Joe. Nicely done. That was a really nice shot. Uh oh, whoa. Holy cow, he really got a hold of that ball. All right, so ball in hand for Rick from Boomsticks. Uh-oh, let that cue ball get away a little bit. It's all right, there's six, there's six holes on that table. Just pick one of the other five. And that's in. Boomsticks regaining the lead six to five. Yeah, don't go away, Rick. You're going to be racking versus Mike from Sloppy Joe's.
Hey, Lee Baldwin. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. All right, we got Mike from Sloppy Joe's breaking. Oh, no. All right, man, these are spread open wide. Got made two on the break, three if you count the white one. Nice open layout here, ball in hand to start with. All right, ball in hand for Rick. I like shooting the one past the four. Yeah, I like choosing that pocket. Come up to in the side or in the corner, depending which way you want to go. You can play the two to the corner if you wish. All right, looks like he's going for the side. That's, that's uh, how's his speed? <laughs> Pretty darn good. <clears throat> and just draw for this two ball a little bit. Play the three. You can play the three to the other side. You can bring the cue ball back to the middle of the table for the three to the bottom left corner. But yeah, option A, three to the other side. No worries. Oh, who just made that ball over there? Was that Anthony? All right, that was Anthony. Tying it up, six apiece. All right, it's going to be Mac, uh, Mike's Rack from Boomsticks versus Joe from Sloppy Joe's over on that other table. Meanwhile, Rick working on his run out here on this table. He's got some distance between the cue ball and the four, but the four ball's close to the pocket, and the uh, angle is perfect to come over for the six, so all I have to do is just roll this in. Shouldn't be a problem for Rick. <laughs> Blint says he ran out of beer. <laughs> what team is Summerfield and Joel on? Well, they were on uh, McPeckinfield. It was the name of their team, but they are out. They are out of the tournament, which means they're free to commentate. Hi there. Hello. Welcome back. Ooh, that could have that could have been a little uh, a little scary there coming off the nine. Yeah, the, but it, it ended up perfect. <laughs> ended up perfect. Just nudged that nine over in front of the pocket. All right, Boomsticks regaining the lead again. I'm sensing a pattern. Again. Again. <laughs> All right, that's going to bring Steven from Boomsticks. We'll be racking against Anthony from Sloppy Joe's. We'll be breaking. We are being rejoined by Mrs. Railbirds. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing all right. Living the dream? We're on the coast. There's pool playing going on, although we haven't got to hit a ball. Yeah, we're right here on the beautiful Oregon coast, Chinook Winds Casino Resort. We are right on the beach. That little rock video I made, I just walked out the door, went down to the beach, and took a video of it. So we, we really are right on the beach. Uh, SD Design, the next match will be at 3 p.m., and that will be a hot seat match. Hot seat. Ouch. Hot seat. It's either going to be bronze, silver, or platinum. Gold is tomorrow. Uh, don't, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was. I think the bronze one was first, I think. Um, 
because it was the smallest uh, division, so I think the bronze one was first. I clicked the wrong button. But the next match will be <coughs> at 3 o'clock, and it's going to be a hot seat match. All right, Anthony, having a look at this rack. Mm -hmm. All right, everything's frozen to the table. That Excellent. Is, that is actually the last one at 9 p.m. Oh, the bronze is the last one. Yeah. No, that no, 9 p.m. is finals. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess so maybe that was. Holy shots. And good job, Lee. <laughs> uh, good job, Lee. That's the name of the team. That's the name of the team. <laughs> good job, Lee. Good job, Lee. Cool, uh, st cool story, Lee. <laughs> that will be the hot seat. That's the bronze hot seat match that at 3 o'clock. That is correct. I'll just nudge that little tube, nudge it a little bit closer to the pocket in case it wasn't close enough already. Oh, sorry, I missed, someone was asking for a link to the bracket. Sorry, I didn't see that uh, in the chat room. Sorry about that. You can find that at Western bca.org. Mm. And yeah, the, uh, the being able to post uh, links in our uh, chat room is not enabled. Kevin can do it, though. Yeah, only people with the little blue wrench uh, are allowed to do it, are allowed to post links. Just smart wrenches. Yeah, only uh, only me and the Smurfs are allowed to post uh, links. So this, oh no, this is uh, for the right to play the hot seat. All right, how's the speed? Eh, it came up a little short. Man, you really got to either kill this cue ball or come around four rails. I like, think I like coming around four rails. Cut it in, come around four rails for position on the seven. And, uh, he was just playing safe, and unfortunately that has leaked out. He's left a shot. <laughs> no, putting the word link in the chat is not, is not the same as posting a link, Belint. <laughs> Wise guy. He's a Weisenheimer, eh? Now, now Belinda is posting spam links. <laughs> All right, this seven does pass the nine. Nice little thin cut, up and down for the eight. No, he's just not, he's not going the up and down, just the up, but not, not the up and down part. Yeah, a little more speed, up and down, use the second rail. Don't try to hold it. I think we might be looking at uh, riding the old nine ball over there. Oh, we got some, some fromage action going on. Yeah, uh, no, he didn't, he was drawn off of it. I thought he was gonna, Cut it and go forward with it. And uh, Joe is scratched over there. Mm. Ball in hand for Mike. All right, nice shot, Steven. Boomsticks takes the biggest lead this set, this match so far. Two game lead. There we go. And that's going to bring up Mike and Mike. Insert the obligatory joke here. Got my money on Mike. No, no, no. I've got Mike. You can have Mike. He wants that key. Hey, SD Design wants to go to a Waffle House. I knew I liked him for a reason. All 
All right, so we have Mike from Boomsticks will be breaking. Mike from Sloppy Joe's will be racking. Oh, wait, no, Mike is currently playing playing Joe on the other table, so we got to wait. Yep, we're, we're in holding So we're waiting, so let's and, go. And then uh, Joe is playing Steven after that. All right, so let's let's have a look at this other table since this is what we're waiting on. We got Joe at the table, ball in hand on this five. No, when he plays this six seven, com oh, he's not. I thought he's he was going to go for the combination. Up. He would have to prepare to play a six nine after that combination because the six was going to go that way. But just break him out and run out. Yeah, he's hit that real nice. That's a nice breakout. Everything everything goes now. Just get straight in. I was say get straight in on the seven, so you can just shoot a stop shot for the eight yeah, to the other he's corner. He's going to have to play an eight nine combination. <laughs> All right, eight nine of this yeah, is pretty good. Yeah, it's real easy. Oh. Yep, he's got pretty good on it, yeah. nearly straight in. So, 3 p.m. is the bronze hot seat, 5 p.m. is the silver hot seat, 7 p.m. is the platinum hot seat, and 9 p.m. is the bronze finals. All right, Joe, getting one back. Eight to seven. <coughs> All right, so we got Mike and Mike. Now we got Mike and Mike and on Joe. one table. And, and Joe and Steven on the other table. Joe racking for Steven. Looks like Mike and Mike are going to be on the on the on the little on the little picture, the pitcher in pitcher, mm -hmm. on our main table here. We're going to have Joe racking, Stephen breaking. Joe from Sloppy Joe's racking, Stephen from Boomsticks breaking. All right, Stephen with the break. All right, uh, nice break. Right. I'm gonna get a shot on the two. Uh, does it pass the five? Ooh, that's uh, it looks like it's got just enough room to, to sneak past that five. Yeah. And then if anything, undercut it. So that you leave it safe. And then they'll just kick the two nine in on you. She said with no bitterness in her voice whatsoever. <laughs> like it's never happened to you before? Uh, nope. <clears throat> All right, brings Joe to the table. Got a shot on the two. Nice little alley between the nine seven for that cue ball to come back through. A little center ball into the left English, not much, just to come back through. Oh, get in there, two ball. It's it, not going it, to get in. It didn't get in there. It's a tease. <laughs> All right, Stephen. Two ball, no problem. Three ball, no problem. Four ball, eh, depends uh, yeah, how you get on this three, if you can get up table for the four. And then the five is kind of half hidden behind this nine. Yeah, and that's and it has limited options. That three ball is a you have, or I mean the four ball. You have to pick a side. Don't just, oh, I got to get down table, because that's when you end up in that 50-yard line, right? Right. Pick a uh, side. Oh, he's straight in and yes, jacked up and over jacked the nine. He can cut the three a little bit to the right and follow forward two rails, maybe even catching the third to come down for the four right here by his hip. That's exactly what he's doing. Get there, slow table. Get there, you slow table. All right, it got there. Yeah. Now here's what I where I like to shoot what uh, John Schmidt calls the whip shot. Two rails out of the corner, back past the side pocket to come um, where you can see the five from. Yeah, if you're going to go that way, yeah, you want to you want to draw this sharp out of that corner because you want to come just south of that uh, left side pocket over there. You want to yep. use the rail and come off the rail. So three yep. rails. Three wheels sharp out of this corner. Oh, he's going to go. He's, he's going to go long here. instead, and he's and got he's a shot. Tied up the six, seven. 
Does he have angle to be able to slide down into him? He has angle as long as the nine's not in the way. Yep. Well, he's getting down there pretty quick like it's not. And then he, he just stood up. Yeah, so stood maybe up. maybe like, it is a problem. Yeah, I don't know about that. He could cross bank the five and um, put some inside in on it and uh, run into him. Uh, he's back again like he's shooting this ball straight in and sliding down I, table. Yeah, I think it goes. All right, nice, nice shot. shot. Good breakout. And he's got a pretty good look at this six. All right, that works. Uh, SD Designs Fargo is a rating system. It is based off of the chest rate, uh, the chest rating system. Yeah, Fargo rate is a rating, not a handicap. Yep. Fair match is the handicap system that mm -hmm. uses Fargo rate. Yeah, yeah, it's a rating system. Um, it rates, you know, everybody against everybody, and how you played. When I play Kevin, and I'm beating. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one time. And it was twice. My friends know because <laughs> I called them. It was more than that because I didn't tell them about the time I beat you at the tournament either. That wasn't that <laughs> long ago. But, yeah, it's based on who you've played and how you performed based on your ratings against that person. Um, if you're supposed to beat them and, um, considerably and you go hill, hill, your rating can go down even though you've won. <laughs> it, so it, it's based on how you perform against the other person's rating. Against, you know, yeah, if that makes any sense. Got uh, nine ball about ready to go in over here. And I didn't meet this guy, so he's got to be on uh, boomsticks. Oh. Yauchi. Uh, the guy at the table now is on boomsticks. The guy okay. that missed the nine was on sloppy joes. Yeah, two of the, there was a, one player from each team that wasn't here when I was filling out the score sheet. All right, sloppy joes. Tied up again. 8-8. Eight, eight. So that's going to bring up Anthony will be racking from Sloppy Joe's. Rick from Boomsticks will be breaking. Mm. You didn't bring me a coffee, did you? I didn't. That's okay. I've had enough. Yeah. I realized that when I got up here and I saw my coffee cup. So what happened there. on, uh, so Boomsticks got the nine over on that other table, I think, because... Well, yeah, I thought that yeah. was yeah, I thought that was the one you were marking, and not this one in front of us. Right, yeah, the the guy in the in the green greenish shirt. He's yes. the one that made he's the one that made the nine. Yes. All right, that's Mike from Boomsticks. So nine eight, in favor of Boomsticks. Blunt's being funny. He says Mike lost. <laughs> <laughs> A wise guy, huh? And yeah, one of these days I will reinstate the uh, the Railbirds trivia. I just have to uh, go through my new stack of uh, trivia pursuit cards and input all those questions. In his spare in time. My, in my copious amounts of spare time. <laughs> can't believe you can't do that too while we're sitting here. <laughs> Wing ball straight in and no shot on the one. No shot at well. Possible safety. It, possible safety. it might cut. It, it might it, still cut. It will cut. It it will cut. Your knife, sir. It will cut. All right, one in the corner off the four. <laughs> I think that's what he was trying. Yeah. Or maybe he was just playing safe. Not sure which. I don't know. I think he was playing the ball because he's got a shot on the two there. I mean, it endured the two way. Mm -hmm. You know. 
or the three two way. Here, can you uh, fill out the rest of this worksheet? I uh, sure can because Thank you. see what they've gone and done to me now? Yeah, we're going hill hill. And you know, as we get further and further into the tournament, that's what happens. All right, Anthony, jump cue in hand. If we get to a point like this or a point match and somebody's still blowing people out of the water, they, they might be in the wrong division. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How are, we, how are we kicking this 1-9 in? Which way are we going? Um, to the player's left-hand side with spin. So the right side of the table where there aren't any balls, that way? Yes, that's the way I'm going. The players left mm -hmm. ri our right-hand side with a whole bunch of uh, right-hand spin. So you're just going one rail to the end rail with spin? Uh-huh. Not going two rails? Nah. Go two rails might make the one on the side, off yeah. the two or even straight in, or get a safety, or make the uh, one and get a safety. Well, and it depends. Yeah, okay, so there's all kinds of room between there, and it depends. You know, it depends on how I can cue at this one ball or at the cue ball here, if I can dig in there enough to get that spin on it. I'm really comfortable with those kinds of shots. I'm also, I also really like the, you know two railers too. You can make both nine in the side. You know, well, actually, no, it wouldn't go on the side if you hit, you'd have to hit it first. The two railers got some good options too. Yeah, yeah the two railer can. Uh, Leave them safe, make the one on the side, make the one on the side off the two. Make the one nine. Make the one nine. He's going the two rails. All right, yeah, he's going to he's gonna leave it safe if he so doesn't scratch. Uh, now what does that one nine uh, bank look like, kick bank? Uh, you'd have to hit the one. Really hard. Really hard, and you'd have to hit it really thin coming out of this way to make the one nine bank. All right, one. good. good what do you hit. mean? There oh, goes. oh, you meant that way. Holy cow. That was a good hit, too. That's a nice shot there, Anthony. 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't know why he questions me I like that. I thought you meant the other way. <laughs> I'm not creative like you are like that. <laughs> I don't see those until after you show it to me. <laughs> oh, a nice bank shot there on that other table. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Yep, yep. All right, I got a ball down, and a look at the one, maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, no, I don't think you can see the one. I take that back. So, possible push out coming here. Uh, maybe push, uh, maybe just move the four out, uh, open it up. Leave them over there on the side. Or just rub the nine a little bit and let the cue ball go down. I don't know. I don't like pushing out to the side rail where the two is because that just leaves them a really easy way to play me safe. I don't like this. This is way, way, way too easy to leave somebody s to play a safe here. You're never, <clears throat> never getting this one back. Oh, did he open up that gap? He did, huh? It paid off. Didn't want to hit the seven and you use the eight for the uh, for your blocker ball there. All right, I just wanted to make sure that we are all in agreement on the score that we were keeping up with the score properly. And yes, we are. The 
Yeah, I checked it when I came over. Oh, you did? Here. Okay. Yeah, when I, I first came in, I checked it. I didn't see that. But yes, we are correct on the score. It is 9-9. Nine nine. Yeah, I was going to tell you, but I didn't. And <laughs> Darren Walding stopped me to give me some updates on total entrance. Uh, depending on how you count it, there's, e there's either 906 or 1,495 or 1,506 or... <laughs> uh, if you want to, like, count every entry in every event. Like, if one person enters three different events, do you count that person three times or you just count them one because it's one person? Yeah, well, I'd like to know how many, you know, different people are here. Yeah, I like counting... Unique. Unique people. Uh, some people like counting entrance because, you know, that one person, you know, they entered three times, you know, they paid three entry fees, so that yeah. counts three times, right? Yeah. So if you count it that way, then there's over 1,500. <coughs> but what, you know, when they're... You but know. if you count unique people, like a little over 900. And if you count the max total that are here at one time, that would be the team at, uh, what would you say, six, 700? <coughs> Correct. Like 680, I think, was what I was the number I and came up with. And that's just players, not and not including their spouses, families, mm -hmm. you know. All the all the sweaters on the rail. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, you put them up on the rail to dry out after you wash them. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's not where you put the sweater. No. Put on the clothesline. Oh, there goes nine, nine ball. ball. Nice shot there. All right, that's going to put Boomsticks on the hill. And Nineball just went in over there. Which, for who? Uh, which team? Um, for the guy in the black shirt. They both have black shirts. The one with the dark hair coming this way. That's Mike, right? That's, uh, this that's guy right Sloppy here's Joe, so we are 10-10. That's what I got. <laughs> All right, wow. Thrill, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Can we play it on this table here? I Thank hope you. so. Yep. Good. They're playing it over here. Excellent. So we're going to have Anthony and Mike. Mike will be racking Anthony from Sloppy Joe's, who will be breaking. Thrill, thrill. Like we like 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 it was going to go any other way. Yeah. No. This is awesome. This is. Um, <coughs> I think this, this is uh, this is the point match, right? This is a point match. No. This is a B side. Oh, B side. Uh, oh. They are. Currently 17th through 24th in the in the in are the standings. Are in, they're in the do re mi. They are in the do re mi. Sweet. So here's the payout real quick before he breaks. Yeah, we are at 17th through 24th is where we are. Loser gets 210. Winner moves up the pay ladder. Yeah, 30 bucks each and a chance at a whole lot more. Anthony with the break. We will have the Mr. Bob Robbins on the. Uh, a nice Stream break. next for the hot seat match. Nice break. And, oh, look at this. is a dream break. Got a shot on the one. One to the two is really probably the hardest part. Maybe three to the four also. As long as he gets straight in on the two, he's, he should have a good way to get to the three. Three to the four could be a little tricky. Uh, if you wanted your Railbird shirt, don't forget to come get them while you're here. Uh, just brush that six. All right, um, nudge, uh, nudge the four closer to the pocket. Yeah, man, that's uh, oof. Oh, <laughs> oh we're going to get safe. Or, or just play safe. Yeah. He can just play safe if he doesn't like shooting at the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That worked out. I work out. It, it works out. It worked out. <laughs> if you can see any of this, too, bank the two at the nine. Uh, um, just no. you, know, you bank the two know. up table, uh, cue ball back in behind under the five. I don't know that he can see any of the two. Nice. And if he's going to have to straighten it up out of this uh, corner here. He's going two rails he's at it. Kicking out of two rails. Yep. Bank it at the nine. Hit it hard. Five ball was going towards it. He's tied up that five. Yep. All right. We're d that just made things a little bit more interesting. Yep. And the plot thickens. And the plot thickens. Uh, I would have been trying to draw back into that five to open yeah, it up. Yeah, open it up. He plays he's, the three up in the corner. He still has a chance. He can still yep. shoot the three in the side and open up that five nine. Right, the nine. He's 
he's going for it, and, and he's, he's got, got a, there. He's got a shot. Yep, he's got a shot. Had a, you got to draw this, and you got to hit it with that Filipino stroke <laughs> so that you don't slide into the side pocket. Yeah, and it's, um, that's a reach back and grab a little bit more cue, what JD likes to tell me, you know, grab a little bit more yeah, weapon. Yeah, this is one of those shots where you have to put a lot of spin on the ball but without hitting it hard, which is yeah. it's one of those things that comes yeah. with, with experience, the ability to put a lot of spin on the ball but without hitting it hard. Yeah, and he just accepted the little tougher cut shot here, and he may play safe. Oh, he went for it. He was trying to slice it in. Yeah. And this is going to leave a nice shot for Mike. Oh, it is really nice. Really nice. He's got angle to be able to come off this rail. He could go forward with it, which I don't like. You know, you get that bad angle on the six. Those corner pockets come in and just pop this off the rail. Yeah, I like I like playing for the for the corner, not the side here. Yep. Me too. Pop it off the rail, so not so much bottom as it is English to make the throw the ball into the rail. Oof. He didn't move that cue ball at all. Yeah, he left the cue ball on the rail. But the good news is all I got to do is just make this six, just roll it in. Looks like he's elevating, doesn't uh -huh. it? I just roll it in, level cue, roll this in, come across for the nine in the uh, corner. He, he's, he's looking like he's juicing this. Level cue, just roll it in nice oh, and no, easy. He's, uh, but you got to cut it when you're rolling it. And then being jacked up a little bit can cause it to mass, say, just the tiniest little bit there. And All right. Anthony to the table. He sprung up out of his seat when, when the six was still rolling because he knew he, he knew that uh, Mike had missed it. Huh. So what's this guy saying there? Whoa, cue ball. Man, that cue ball just didn't stop. It just kept going and going and going. Yeah. Yeah, no pressure at all. Four more money on the live stream. Hill, Hill, your team's counting on you. That's why they put you in that spot. That's why they put him in there that spot. Is. Nice shot. Anthony wins it for his team, 11 to 10. Thrill, thrill match. All right. And well, thrill, thrill, and we got 50-some minutes till the next one. All right, congratulations, Boomsticks, on your 17th place finish in the money. Good shooting. Sloppy Joes will be moving on. All right, we'll see you guys at three o'clock with the hot seat match for bronze. Kevin and Trey Ross, Railbirds Productions. See you guys. Bye.